At the beginning of this chapter, I was willing to bet that I know the strategy that you like to use most when studying. If you're anything like most students, you prefer rereading. If that's the case, I hope you can keep an open mind right now. While you're studying, you might think, oh, I for sure remember this information, this seems easy, but especially if you study fast, re-accessing your memories might be hard. So a must before every test is self-testing. Self-testing is a lot more efficient than if you just reread your notes. Your memories are reinforced a lot more if you write your own test questions than if you just re-study. This is the so-called testing effect. And there's lots of research that suggests that testing yourself before your test improves your test performance as opposed to just reading your notes. So make sure you write your own test questions. Either use flashcard apps or write them on your computer or your notepad. When going a little bit deeper into the test matter, you know that there's two different kinds of tests. The one is recall tests, where you are asked a question that you need to recall freely, such as what's the capital of Canada? And then there's recognition tests that will retrieve memory. For example, in a multiple choice test where you see different answers and you have to pick one. Recall tests are vastly superior to recognition tests. Recall tests actually engage your memory and you need to find the answer by yourself, whereas in recognition or retrieving tests, you don't need to know as much detail. When doing self-testing, you're using recall questions and it encourages deeper understanding of the subject matter, which is what you want to go for. If you know, though, that your test is going to be a retrieval test with multiple choice questions, I suggest you spend one quarter of your study time doing retrieval studying, meaning you reread and you try to remember as much as possible without recalling. But the other three quarters try to spend with recall questions because they deepen your understanding and will make it more likely that you know the answer to your test question. You can call your test a quiz or a checkup. And if you really want to emphasize how much you learned, I suggest taking one of those quizzes in the beginning of a study session and then again in the end. This way you will see the progress you made and it will be more motivating. Also make sure you mix up questions from different chapters. Don't just have 10 questions of the first chapter and then move on to the next 10 questions of the next chapter. Make sure they're mixed up and like that they simulate a test situation better. Ideally combine the strategy with different strategies we discussed in the previous video, such as changing up your study environment with different rooms you were in, different mental states, physical states, different times of the day. Create as much variation as you can so you can create more associations, more connections, and deepen your memory. Like this, you'll be a successful test taker who's prepared for all kinds of test situations.